Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Seattle, Washington. Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast as we get set for a doubleheader tonight. Uh, both games against a uh, against Alaska Fairbanks as the men tip it off here in just a couple of minutes, and then the women will follow at 7.30. Got a lot of local guys on the uh, Fairbanks roster, the Nanooks. They come in 4-8 and eight overall with a 1-5 and five GNAC record, but uh, they've been competitive in a lot of those losses, uh, and uh, they will uh, bring some, uh, some energy tonight to the Seattle Pacific University Falcons, who uh, come in. 10 and 8 overall, 3 and 4 in the GNAC, and uh, looking to uh, kind of get on a roll here as they uh, they defeated St. Martin's the last time uh, at home, and then uh, last weekend they split a pair of games. They won at Western Washington. They lost at Simon Fraser. Fairbanks um, coming off uh, a loss. And uh, they, they did get a win on January 15th against Central Washington. Their head coach, Greg Sparling, coached 24 years at Central Washington before taking the Fairbanks job. This is his fourth season uh, with Fairbanks and really just his third uh, season. Uh, technically, it's his fourth year. They, they did not play at all last year. But uh, – Greg Sparling, uh, the, the head coach for the Nanooks, and Grant Leaf in his sixth year for the Falcons as uh, Abdul Muhammad in the circle for Fairbanks. He is uh, from right here in Seattle, Washington, transferred from Eastern Washington, Harry Cavill for the Falcons, and Cavill, a graduate student from Kaiser, Oregon, as uh, we are going to tip it up and – Get you the rest of the starting lineups. A little bit of a false start there. For uh, the Nanooks, local product out of Rainier Beach High School, Shadid Shabazz leads the uh, Nanooks in scoring. And Shaw Anderson comes away with the uh, the ball off the uh, the tip there after the Nanooks initially uh, had control for just you know just a brief second there. Falcons with the first possession of the ball game as Harry Cavill will hand off to Shaw Anderson in the corner. Cavill gets it back, being guarded by Coleman Sparling, son of the head coach. Here is Zach Paulson, and he uh, picks that one up and puts it in as uh, he grabbed a hold of it with the left hand and drove and then put put it in before taking the uh, the second full step as the Falcons lead 2-0. Sparling with it. Mentioned uh, Coleman Sparling, the uh, son of the head coach, started his uh, career at Central Washington and was at uh, University of Texas Arlington as well as Shabazz gets to the basket and puts it in. Quinn Barnard, a senior out of Bellevue, Washington, a former Washington Husky wearing number two as uh, Cavill is cut off. And that one... Tapped by Shabazz, but it ends up in the hands of Devontae Moffitt for the Falcons. Moffitt is going to get called for an offensive foul. Shabazz gets in front of him and draws the contact. So uh, the Falcons turn it over to two-year score. Kobe Huerta, a senior from Covington, Washington, with the ball right now, wearing number three. And uh, he transferred from Big Bend Community College in Moses Lake as uh, Barnard almost fumbled that one out of bounds, is able to maintain it. Here's Muhammad. Gets it out to Huerta. And uh, 31, as this is Sparling going to the basket. Nobody there to stop him. 4-2. to two. Nanooks in the lead. Abdullahi Muhammad from Seattle. Uh, and Shaw Anderson scores over him to make it a four-all score here in the opening minutes. That one looked like uh, bounced off of somebody's leg but kicked right to Sparling. Here is Barnard with it. Gets it to Muhammad. And now Huerta going to trigger a three from the right wing, and he knocks it down. 7-4, Alaska Fairbanks in the lead. 
Here's Devontae Moffitt back the other way. He leads the Falcons in scoring. And here is Shaw Anderson, who hit the buzzer beater to beat St. Martin's here about a week and a half ago. And Anderson with the mid-range jumper there makes it a 7-6 ball game. Here is Shabazz getting to the bucket, puts it in. Went up with the floater and uh, got it to rattle home 9-6. Nanooks in the lead. Moffitt the other way. And we'll get you the full Falcons starting lineup here. Apologize for uh, not getting that to you uh, prior to the game. There's a foul called on uh, Abdul Mohammed. Zach Paulson, a sophomore out of University Place, Washington. Sharif Khan is a graduate student from Bellevue, Washington, wearing number three. Uh, Harry Cavill mentioned out of Kaiser, Oregon. Devontae Moffitt, a senior. He is at the free throw line hitting his first. He is out of Spanaway, Washington. And then Shaw Anderson is a sophomore from Kelso, Washington. As uh, Moffitt's second free throw is good, and that will make it a 9-8 score in favor of Fairbanks. First trip to the line tonight for Moffitt, and he goes two for two. He's a 76% free throw shooter coming in. This is Barnard getting it to Shabazz on the left wing. Steps back over Cavill, puts it in, and draws the foul. Shadid Shabazz with the three, and he's playing in front of some family and friends tonight as he, as he does when he comes home to Seattle as the foul called on Harry Cavill there stepping out on the shot. And... Uh, Shabazz to the free throw line, gets it to go, and it's a five-point margin for the Nanooks. As uh, Willie Thomas the third just checked in for the Nanooks. Devontae Moffitt handling out outside and now gets it to Paulson. Here is Anderson up over Thomas, couldn't get the shot to go. It's off the mark, Sparling with the rebound for Alaska Fairbanks. Barnard gets it to Huerta. Five-point lead for the Nanooks here in the early going. And that's Thomas stripped from behind, it looked like. And the Falcons are coming the other way with it. Not sure whether that was Anderson that got the steal there. Anderson cuts the to the bucket and couldn't get the shot to go. Gets two uh, offensive rebounds and gets the second tap up and in as he got three cracks at that one. And Anderson with six points here in the early going. 13-10, Nanooks in the lead. And here's Huerta driving and putting it up over uh, Paulson. Couldn't get the shot to go, though. Had to alter it just a little bit. And here's Paulson triggering a three in transition. And that one <laughs> hits the rim and falls in. And uh, that will make it a 13-13 game. Here's Thomas kicking it back out to Sparling. And now Shabazz with it. Shadid Shabazz, 20.8 points per ball game. And uh, also averages nearly five boards a game. Shabazz gets to the bucket, puts it in. He is athletic, kind of in the, the mold of a Devontae Moffitt for SPU. As, uh, this will be fun to watch the, these uh, two go back and forth. Falcons really haven't gotten Moffitt involved too much yet, but he will. He will get involved as he gets to the bucket, lays it up and in, cut through a couple of defenders, ties it back up at 15. Moffitt averaging 17.6 for SPU. So Shabazz 20.8 for SPU. Uh, Alaska Fairbanks. Here's a shot up and in, a three from Shabazz, and he is on fire to get this one going, and that one actually a long two as uh, it was a perimeter shot, but not a, uh, not a three. They give him two. Paulson turns around, puts it up and in. 17-17, six minutes into this one. These teams are shooting well here in the early going. Shabazz gets it to Thomas along two, and it's off the mark. Rebound to Devontae Moffitt for SPU. 
Moffitt already working up a sweat. Steps back, takes a three off the back rim, and Thomas comes down with the rebound and takes it the other way. Moffitt reaching in, and now Cavill gets in the passing lane. Here come the Falcons. Moffitt between a couple of defenders, swatted away by Thomas. As Moffitt got in between two defenders, didn't see Thomas coming back, coming, uh, back with the defense as well. And uh, Thomas with the block, 13.25 to go. We finally get to our first timeout as uh, we had a frenetic stretch there. 13.25 to go, 17.17. We'll be right back in just a moment. Back inside Royal Brougham Pavilion, we are off to a uh, fast start here between Fair Five into the ball game, and each team already has 17 points on the board. Fairbanks shooting 78% from the floor, seven of nine, and SPU shooting 58% on seven of 12 shooting. A couple of threes for Fairbanks already, two of two, and SPU is one of two out there. SPU has out rebounded. Fairbanks by a count of 5-2. to two. Not a lot of rebounds here in the early going as uh, both teams have been making shots and uh, not a lot of opportunities for rebounds as the officials are reviewing something here, taking a little bit of time to come back from the timeout. Shadid Shabazz already 12 points on the board for the Nanooks. And uh, Zach Paulson has 7 for the Falcons. And uh, Shaw Anderson is uh, out of the ball game at the moment for the Falcons, but he's got six. Moffitt has four for SPU. And uh, Fairbanks with 12 from Shabazz, three from Huerta, and two from Sparling. As uh, we do get... Uh, the team's coming back out onto the floor now. Falcons will bring in uh, Sion Blackman and Kelton Samore, who they have missed. They are they have uh, Bijan Sadu back to tonight, and uh, he'll he uh, should be checking in at some point here. As uh, the Falcons have been a little short-handed, and. Uh, they get some more back. They get uh, Sadu back as well. Sadu played on Saturday at Simon Fraser. Moffitt. And now here is uh, Paulson getting it to Cavill. Couldn't get the shot to go. Gets his own rebound, puts it back up and in. And it's 19-18. to 18. And what they were reviewing there, they gave uh, they did actually give a three to Shabazz on uh, the one that I initially called a three as they reviewed it. And uh, gave him a three. So Shabazz now with 13 points, not 12. This is Sparling getting it to Willie Thomas. And now Paulson going after it. Couldn't come up with it. Here's Huerta. And he gets the shot to go as uh, Barnard went into the backcourt. Got it ahead to Huerta. They beat the shot clock. Here is Blackman feeding it to Paulson, who's going to step out. And now Shabazz steals the pass, goes up over Blackman, couldn't get the shot to go, but he, draw, he is able to draw the foul. And Shadid Shabazz, the Rainier Beach product, heading to the free throw line as uh, the Nanooks lead it 20-19. to 
Foul goes against Sion Blackman, who did all he could there defensively to stop Shabazz from getting a clean look at the bucket. But he uh, gets to the line, puts in the first free throw. He's got 14 already. Anderson and Khan will come back in for SPU. Muhammad back out there along with uh, Ty Sturm. A lot of the Nanooks from the Seattle area. Uh, Sturm is from Huntington, West Virginia, and transferred from Marshall. Came all the way out to uh, not just the West Coast, but to Alaska. As uh, Shabazz knocks down both free throws, and Thomas gets his hand on that one. SPU will keep it. 22-19, Fairbanks with the lead. Paulson to inbound it. Gets it into Sharif Khan. Khan tried to enter it to Paulson. is tipped out of bounds by Shabazz. And the Falcons will keep it again. 13 on the shot clock. And Paulson will inbound from in front of the uh, Nanooks bench. Had a foot on on the uh, right next to his left foot and had a water bottle right next to his right foot. As, uh, here's a three from the corner from Blackman. No good. Rebound to Shadid Shabazz. And Fairbanks with it with a three-point lead, and we get a foul called. This will take us to another timeout as they call a foul on Kelton Samore. His first. 11.48 remaining. We're at the under-12 timeout. 22-19, Fairbanks over SPU. And we will be back in just a moment on the SPU webcast. Don't go anywhere. Back inside Royal Brown Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. 22-19, Alaska Fairbanks leads SPU. And uh, Fairbanks gets up and down the floor. They have uh, scored a lot of points in their games. Four and eight coming in. And I mentioned uh, one and five in the GNAC. Their uh, win in GNAC play was uh, over Central Washington, who is actually in a tie for first in the conference right now as uh, Blackman knocks that one out of bounds into the SPU bench. And Fairbanks will uh, inbound it again. Sturm, freshman from uh, Huntington, West Virginia, and uh, still have him listed as a freshman, so they, they do say that he transferred from Marshall, but uh, apparently redshirted there and was able to... Uh, as Shabazz puts up a three, and that one's off the mark, and out of bounds, it's going to be last touched by the Nanooks, and it'll be SPU ball. As uh, they do have, uh, yeah, Sturm listed as a Marshall transfer, but uh, came straight to Fairbanks, still a freshman. Last year, of course, was. Uh, not an official season for uh, very many teams as uh, Shaw Anderson turns around, puts in the uh, the 12-footer, and he's got eight points. Sturm with it. Gets it to Muhammad. And now Shabazz flips it over his head to Willie Thomas. The third puts it in. And the Tacoma native 
with a the long two, his first two of the ball game. Thomas, six foot six and long arms. And here is Sion Blackman, a three from the corner. No good. Uh, Paulson there with an easy rebound and put back. And the Falcons back within a point. Zach Paulson with nine here in the early going. As uh, he had some big games for the Falcons early in the season. And lately, the home games I'm thinking of anyway. Um, have to look at uh, some of the box scores from the road games. But uh, Paulson has not gone off as much at home recently. Falcons pull down the, the rebound. And Paulson with it as Anderson trying to set a screen on somebody. But the uh, Falcons need to space the floor a little bit. Anderson will get it out to some more. And now a three from the corner by Sharif Khan is off the mark. Rebound to Willie Thomas. 24-23, Fairbanks with the lead as Shadid Shabazz moves it across midcourt. Being guarded by Sion Blackman. Shabazz will get it to Quinn Barnard, former Washington Husky. Barnard gets to the bucket and lays it up and in with the right hand. The offhand there as he was uh, on the left side of the bucket and snuck it up and in with that right hand. 26-23. Fairbanks by three. Some more. Gets it to Blackman. And now back to Paulson. He will loop it out to Anderson, who almost had his pocket picked by Shabazz. Here's Blackman getting to the bucket. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Sion Blackman. That'll be his second foul. And it'll go the other way. Fairbanks will take it back. Huerta and Sparling back in. And uh, for the Falcons, here's Bajan Sudu into the game. Cavill back in there. Con Moffitt and Anderson for the Falcons. For Fairbanks, it's Shabazz, Muhammad, Sturm, Sparling, and Huerta bringing it across midcourt. With 8.40 to go here in the first half. Huerta tried to get it over the top to Muhammad, and they're going to call Moffitt. For a foul, Moffitt was going for the ball and uh, got enough of Muhammad. They uh, get Moffitt for the foul. That is his. Uh, that's his second. He'll stay out there for the moment. See if Grant Leap brings him to the bench. As right now, Moffitt and Sadu on the floor. As this is Sparling, a three on the way and good. Coleman Sparling makes it a six-point ball game. A lot of times we see uh, Sadu come in uh, to back up Moffitt at the point guard spot. But they have them both out there. Sharif Khan as well. Falcons have gone to a smaller lineup as Cavill is fouled, and the whistle was kind of late there. The uh, Nanooks. Not liking the, the call or maybe the uh, the fact that it was a little late. As uh, they had the ball and we're going the other way. Paulson will come in to get Devontae Moffitt, and they, they needed to give Paulson a little bit of a break. This Falcons team still uh, a little shorthanded. Mediel Marty has not been in the game yet. And he is dressed, so we'll see if uh, he gets in. Here's Paulson, a three from the corner. That one's off the back rim, but it comes right to Shaw Anderson. He'll get it to Cavill. And now Anderson, a three on the way from the left wing. Good. Cavill finds Anderson out beyond the arc, and Shaw Anderson with 11 points here in the first half, 29-26. Fairbanks by three. Here's Kobe Huerta. To Sparling. And Coleman Sparling, the turnaround jumper over Cavill. No good. Rebound to Paulson. Paulson goes behind his back to get around Shabazz. And he'll get it over to Anderson. 
Here's Khan. And they will get it into Anderson, and he's fouled. And I believe they're going to get Shabazz on the foul there. That is his first. That will take us to another timeout with 7.10 to go here in the first half. 29-26, Alaska Fairbanks leads Seattle Pacific on the SPU webcast. We'll be right back in just a moment. Good ball game going on here, Fairbanks and SPU, 29-26, Alaska with the lead. Alaska Anchorage will be here on Saturday. And uh, the Anchorage women actually are going to play on Saturday and Sunday here as uh, they're going to make up a game that was scheduled to be played actually in Anchorage earlier in the season. A lot of postponed and made-up games. This one originally scheduled as here's Harry Cavill leaving it short. Muhammad with the rebound for the Nanooks. And here's Barnard out of the backcourt. Gets it to Huerta. As uh, Fairbanks shooting 69% still for the ball game. Falcons 52%. And uh, both these teams have been lighting it up. Six on the shot clock. Barnard being guarded by Cavill. And now Sparling trying to get around Sadu. Gets the shot off, and it's off the mark. And Paulson will chase down the rebound. Falcons with it. Sharif Khan across midcourt. Just under six and a half to go here in the first half. Paulson in the post to Anderson. Anderson backing down Muhammad. And it's poked away by Huerta. And Fairbanks comes away with it. Anderson was looking to pass it off, and Huerta got his hand in the cookie jar there. Here's Shabazz, and they're going to call him for traveling. And he's incredulous. Falcons will take it back. And <laughs> he's trying to uh, recreate the move he just uh, made there. Uh, the officials got him for... Traveling, though, and uh, he comes out of the ball game. Greg Sparling trying to calm him down a bit. Here's Sadu. Gets it in the post to Cavill, who turns around, puts it up over Coleman Sparling, and that one is no good. Rebound to Willie Thomas. And here come the Nanooks with a three-point lead. Pace of the game. Not, not so much the pace, but uh, just the uh, back-and-forth scoring has slowed down a little bit. But uh, we got off to a blazing start as this one out of bounds, and Fairbanks will keep it. Thomas will chase it down as uh, Javante Jones, also from Seattle, Washington, into the game now for the first time for Fairbanks. And Thomas misses off the rim, and the uh, Falcons with the rebound. Paulson the other way. Here's Cavill. Gets it to Khan. And now Cavill gets it back. Tried to get it to Sudu. He's able to save it inbounds to Cavill. Cavill threw a couple of players, hit the floor hard, no foul called. And here's Huerta the other way, a three from the corner. That one's off the mark. As the uh, the teams, both teams really kind of starting to, uh, it's here's Sadu with a deep three. That's off the mark. 
Both teams starting to miss some shots here after they both came out uh, on fire. Particularly Shadid Shabazz for the uh, the Nanooks as uh, he was in double figures just in the, the first few minutes of the game. He sh here is Sadu blocking Sparling and uh, – it's going to be a held ball called. It's going to stay with Fairbanks with 4.23 to go, but Sadu able to come over and get the block on Coleman Sparling, who didn't see him coming. Huerta will inbound for Fairbanks. Gets it into Barnard. And Barnard will get it back. 29-26 still. This one has slowed down a little bit as uh, Coleman Sparling tried to beat the shot clock buzzer there and did not draw iron, so the Falcons will take it back on the shot clock violation. Sharif Khan into the front court. Gets it to Sadu. Sadu finds Anderson. Anderson up over Thomas, puts it in with the fadeaway jumper in the in the lane and it is a 29-28 ball game now Shaw Anderson with 13 for SPU here's Jones to Thomas Fairbanks with 10 Washington natives on the roster as Thomas couldn't get the lay in to go there and the Falcons coming the other way Sadu going to take a 3 in transition and they're going to blow it dead ball goes in but uh, no shot and they're going to call Paulson for a uh, player control foul, an offensive foul there. And so uh, Fairbanks will take it back with 3.32 to go. They are in the bonus now. But uh, first we get to a timeout on the floor. Fairbanks with a one-point lead, 29-28. We'll be right back in just a moment. Three thirty-two to go, first half fr from Seattle, Washington, Royal Brown Pavilion, and Iron Coaching Court, more specifically. As uh, the Falcons trail by a point, Nanooks lead twenty-nine twenty-eight. Coming back from the uh, final media timeout of the first half, as Coleman Sparling will inbound it, and. Uh, He will get it into Kobe Huerta with 3.30 to go here in the first half. And this one really started off with the teams getting up and down the floor and lighting it up as Sharif Khan comes over and takes it away as they got it over the top to Muhammad, but Khan came in, and Khan now going to launch a three in transition. That one's off the mark, Muhammad, with the rebound. Here come the Nanooks. Shabazz back on the floor. And he will back out and call a play. Gets it to Sparling. And now Muhammad with it. Going to step back and take the long two. And that one's no good. Paulson with the rebound. Gets it to Moffitt. Falcons with uh, the original, not the original starting five. As Samore did not start this one. But he's out there along with uh, Moffitt, Anderson, Kahn, and Paulson. So Cavill, the one from the starting lineup that's not in right now. And Khan knocks down a three from the right corner, and the Falcons take the lead, 31-29. Sharif Khan, his first three of the ball game, And Greg Sparling wants a timeout to talk things over. 2.24 to go here in the first half. And we'll keep it here 
as uh, we have a 30-second timeout. As uh, mentioned, uh, a few Seattle natives. Um, ten, I, I mentioned 10 Washington natives on the Nanox roster and uh, just two from the state of Alaska, one from West Virginia, and one from South Sudan. He's not here tonight. Uh, but uh, Mawich Kachjani, um, a sophomore from uh, from South Sudan, and uh, Coleman Sparling, his hometown listed as Ellensburg. Other than that, all of the uh, the Washington natives on the Nanooks roster from within an hour of Seattle as Sh Shadid Shabazz puts in the uh, the fadeaway jumper there on the baseline, and he's got 17, and we're tied at 31. Shabazz leading the Nanooks in scoring, and uh, we'll check on where he's at in the, uh, the GNAC in terms of the scoring leaders, but uh, got to imagine he's – at or very close to the top. Moffitt steps through some defenders, puts it up and in, and draws the foul. And they're going to give him the continuation there. It looked to me like he was uh, surprised that one went in, and it w was called a basket and a foul as uh, he just kind of threw that one up. Got it to go, and Devontae Moffitt, Six points in the ball game now. And heads to the free throw line with a minute 43 to go in the first half. Free throws up and good. Devontae Moffitt having a laugh with Shadid Shabazz about uh, how that one went. As uh, they get it into Shabazz. A little bit bigger crowd than what you would normally see at an SPU home game. And uh, you got to think that that has something to do with uh, the large contingent of C Seattle area players on the Nanooks roster. As this is Barnard cutting into the lane. And Muhammad had it for a second. The Falcons come away with it, though. Some more behind the back. He will dish to Cavill going to the bucket. Puts it up and in. But... It's going the other way. They're going to call Kelton some more for an offensive foul. And that is his second. And the Nanooks will take it the other way with a three-point deficit here, 34-31. Muhammad checks out and Javante Jones back in. Here's Sion Blackman for SPU. Checking in for some more who checks out with two fouls. As uh, the women's teams in the stands now, both SPU and Fairbanks, as uh, they'll head back to their respective locker rooms before too long. As this one is poked away, Huerta goes into the backcourt to get it. Seven on the shot clock. Huerta drives, gets it up over Cavill, and it's off the mark. Cavill with the rebound. Falcons by three. And Kahn will walk it across midcourt. About a 10-second differential, maybe nine between shot and game clock. But the Falcons not trying for a two-for-one. As uh, they will try to use up most of the shot clock here. Cavill getting to the bucket. And Jones may have gotten a piece of it from behind. It's off the mark. And now the shot clock off. Barnard Bringing it across. Barnard being guarded by Paulson. Steps back, puts up the three, and it's off the front rim. Huerta trying to draw contact and couldn't do it. As uh, there, A little bit of contact there, but no foul. And Huerta's three-pointer at the buzzer comes up short. Falcons with a three-point lead at the break. As uh, it was a good first half, up and down. The Nanooks had the lead for a lot of it, but the Falcons come out on top by three at halftime, 34-31.
Stick around. We'll be back in a couple of minutes with a breakdown of the first half. We'll get you some stats. And uh, then later on in the halftime break, we will take a look around the GNAC. 34-31, Falcons over the Nanooks at halftime. Back inside Royal Brougham Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. Good ball game going on here. 34-31, the Falcons lead the Nanooks at the break. And uh, really no no bad games in the GNAC. Uh, GNAC is a very competitive conference, but uh, just kind of a little bit of extra uh, flavor in the building tonight just with uh, the many uh, local products on the Nanooks roster. And uh, Shadid Shabazz lighting it up with 17 to lead the way. Let's take a look at the team stats, and then we'll get into the individual stats. As uh, the Nanooks end up shooting just 50% from the floor, just 50%, I say, uh, pretty solid. But they they did uh, start off quite a bit hotter, hotter than that. And uh, the Falcons go 47% on 14 of 30. Nanooks 12 of 24 from the field. And uh, they knock down four of eight from beyond the arc, 50% out there. Falcons go three of nine, 33%. Both teams three of three from the free throw line. And the Falcons with the edge in rebounding 17 to 11, including six offensive boards that uh, really have given them some second chance, opp some, uh, second chance opportunities. Really the largest lead in this one for either team was uh, six. The Nanooks had a 29-23 lead before the Falcons closed out the half on an 11-2 run. And uh, both teams have turned it over six times. Falcons lead in the points in the paint category, 16-10 there, and second chance points, 9-0. Uh, Falcons lead in, in that category. Really a lot of shots being made, but not a lot of not a lot of assists as the Falcons have four of those and the Nanooks have just three. Individually, we mentioned Shadid Shabazz, six of seven from the floor, two of three from beyond the arc, three of three at the free throw line, 17 points uh, for the Seattle native has a, a rebound, an assist, a steal, and two turnovers. And five points apiece for Coleman Sparling and Kobe Huerta as uh, they each hit a three in the first half. Four rebounds for Willie Thomas, the third, with a couple of blocks, and one of them a big block 
on uh, Devontae Moffitt. As uh, the Falcons get 13 from Shaw Anderson to go with five rebounds and an assist. And uh, Anderson, six of nine from the floor, including a three. Just one of one from beyond the arc. Zach Paulson chips in nine for the Falcons to go with five rebounds. And uh, he, shoot, he shot uh, four of five from the floor. As uh, the Falcons also get seven from Devontae Moffitt with a couple of assists and a rebound. He was three of three at the free throw line. Two of four from the uh, the field. And it adds up to a 34-31 halftime lead for SPU. We'll step aside again here on the SPU webcast, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. We will take a look around the GNAC, the entire conference in action tonight, and uh, we will uh, let you know what's going on elsewhere in the GNAC in just a couple of minutes. Greg Sexton back at Royal Brougham Pavilion with you on the SPU webcast as uh, trying to, to uh, get a list of the statistical leaders in the GNAC in terms of scoring and uh, was able to find one, but it's not up to date. It's uh, a few games old, but uh, they, they did have uh, Shadid Shabazz second in the conference um, as of a few weeks ago. And... Uh, Cameron Cranston of Western Oregon uh, listed as the scoring leader uh, with over 24 points per ball game. But again, that, that, that is not an up-to-date uh, statistic. Um, so I, I have to imagine, though, that Shadid Shabazz is uh, in the, the top two or three, if not the top, um, of the conference. And uh, – Speaking of the GNAC, everybody in action tonight. Western Oregon is at St. Martin's. That's a 7 p.m. tip coming up in an hour. Uh, this one, the early game, really everybody else starting at 7 or later. Central Washington will be at Simon Fraser, and uh, that is going to be um, a uh, matchup of a couple of teams with just two losses in conference play. Uh, Western Oregon at St. Martin. St. Martin's 4-2 and two in conference. And Western Oregon uh, now 2-3 and three in conference play. They did uh, come out with a, the their first uh, couple of wins and or their first couple of games in conference play were wins. But um, 
Central Washington at Simon Fraser. That's a 7 p.m. tip. Northwest Nazarene will be at Western Washington, who is uh, struggling just a bit in the GNAC so far this year at 1-3. and three. They are 8-6 and six overall, the, the Vikings I'm talking about. Northwest Nazarene, 5-5 five and five overall, 3-2 and two in the GNAC. And uh, Alaska Anchorage will be at Montana State Billings at 7.30. And then they'll be here. Uh, Alaska Anchorage will, uh, Anchorage will be here on Saturday. The Nanooks going to Billings. Uh, really, the Falcons and, and the uh, Billings Yellow Jackets travel partners this year with uh, Concordia uh, leaving the conference. And uh, the, kind of a weird uh, setup there that uh, SPU and, and Montana State Billings ended up being travel partners. But uh, you kind of look at uh, the rest of the conference and there, somebody's got to have a, a travel partner that's really not that close to them central washington and st martin's tied for the conference lead both four and two and really some solid overall records as well both both teams seven games over 500 overall as the um wildcats of central washington are 10 and three and st martin's is 11 and four they did lose here a, about a week and a half ago on martin luther king day on a buzzer beater by shaw anderson uh to get the falcons to a two and three uh conference record at the time they are now three and four in conference play anchorage has only played 10 games on the season they're seven and three they're two and one in conference and uh, simon fraser northwest nazarene and montana state billings all three and two in conference play and then um Seattle Pacific checks in at seventh in the conference, but they sit at ten and eight overall. They've played more games than anybody in the uh, the GNAC so far. Western Oregon two and three, Western Washington one and three, and Alaska Fairbanks bringing up the rear one and five in the GNAC four and eight overall. But uh, really a competitive ball game here tonight, and. Uh, the, that four and eight overall record, the one and five in the GNAC, really uh, not indicative of uh, how competitive this Fairbanks team has been in uh, many of their games this year. They've they've uh, had some close battles that have not gone their way. The uh, as I mentioned, Fairbanks will be out at Montana State Billings on Saturday. Alaska Anchorage will be here, and. Uh, then the Falcons will go back out on the road, and the Nanooks will return home uh, next week. We'll take another break here on the SPU webcast. We're getting close to second half action. It's 34-31 SPU with the lead at the break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Iron Coaching Court inside Royal Brougham Pavilion. Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. We are just about set for the second half to get underway as uh, the Falcons come out with a three-point lead at the break. Mentioned uh, that they went on an 11-2 run to close out the first half, and uh, they were down 29-23 not that long ago. But uh, they 
now uh, hold a three-point lead as we get ready to begin sec the uh, second half of action. And uh, the Nanooks with their original starting five coming back out. Huerta, Sparling, Mohammed, Shabazz, and Barnard. And Shabazz still pleading his case about uh, the, the traveling call from the first half. And uh, felt that it was a, a, a legit move, and he, he should not have been called for uh, for traveling. The officials did call it the other way, though, as uh, the Falcons with their original starting five back in. And Medi Almardi has not uh, been in the game yet. We'll see if he gets in here in the second half, as uh, this has been a uh, an up and down. Uh, quickly played ball game, and uh, they bring in El Marty's, you know, kind of for some size down low sometimes. But uh, we'll we'll see if they get him in. He's he's ready to go. Is uh, he does not even have uh, the warm ups on. But uh, Sharif Khan will inbound to Devonte Moffitt. Cavill, Anderson, and Paulson out there as well. Here's Moffitt getting to the bucket. Muhammad blocks him from behind and saves it inbounds to Shabazz. Here's Barnard the other way. Back to Shabazz. To the bucket. Puts it up and in. And Shadid Shabazz with 19 points, picking up right where he left off in the first half and already close to his season average as here's Sharif Khan, a three, and that one rattles out. But the rebound comes down to Zach Paulson, kicks it out to Devontae Moffitt. Another three on the way. That one rattles out. The rebound to Abdul Muhammad. And here come the Nanooks. Shabazz back out to Huerta. As the Nanooks trail by one, looking to take the lead here. In the first minute of the second half, Muhammad. Swings it over to Sparling, going to the bucket, puts it up and in. Got it uh, off the glass. Altered the shot just a bit. He was uh, looking at maybe throwing it down. But it is a one-point lead now for Fairbanks as Cavill drives, kicks it to Moffitt, reverses it up and in. And we'll head to the free throw line. Devontae Moffitt with the and one. He had one of those in the first half. And he'll head to the free throw line. Second foul called on Shadid Shabazz. As Moffitt will head to the line with a 36-35 lead. And trying to make it a two-point lead for the Falcons. And he does. Devontae Moffitt, 4-4 four four from the free throw line. And he's got 10 points for the ballgame. Nanooks bring it across. Looking to tie or regain the lead. Barnard gets it in the post, the high post there to Muhammad at the free throw line. He'll get it back out to Shabazz. And now Shabazz using a screen from Muhammad. Gets it back to Muhammad and it's off his hands and into the hands of Sharif Khan. Muhammad unable to handle the pass there. Or the Falcons may have gotten a piece of it. Here's Paulson getting to the bucket, lays it up and in with the left hand, and Zach Paulson in double figures with 11. Shabazz in the backcourt being guarded by Moffitt. And he'll get it across and get it to Kobe Huerta. Four-point lead for the Falcons. As they briefly trailed here early in the second half and now back out to a four-point lead. Huerta on the right wing. And he'll get it into Muhammad in the post. Has it ripped away? No, I believe they they called traveling, I believe. I did not see the, uh, the call there, but it is a turnover either way. The Falcons will take it back. And Moffitt will bring it across midcourt. Being guarded by Shabazz. Here's Paulson, and Paulson is going to draw the blocking foul on Huerta, who was moving his feet, 
trying to cut off that baseline. And Huerta picks up his first foul. Falcons will inbound it from, uh, from underneath the basket. Kahn and Anderson play catch. And now Cavill will find Anderson as they stay on that right side of the floor. Now they swing it over to the left. Paulson kicks it out to Moffitt beyond the arc. Moffitt's going to step back and take a three, but it's off the mark. No good. Cavill tried to put it back. Couldn't get it to go either. And here comes Shadid Shabazz now across midcourt. And we get a whistle and a foul called on Devontae Moffitt. That is his third. And Sion Blackman will come back in to get Moffitt now with 16.56 remaining in the ballgame. Moffitt with three fouls, and he will get a break for the time being. This is Shabazz going to the bucket, and it's blocked from behind. It's a goaltend. Give Shabazz the bucket and give him 21 for the ballgame. And he is over his season average, coming in 20.8 per game. And so a goaltend there. Blackman blocked it from behind, but uh, off the backboard. As this is Paulson, another mid-range jumper from the left side of the key. And he's got 13. 41-37, Falcons by four. Quinn Barnard gets it to Shabazz. Shabazz being guarded by Blackman. Shabazz launches the three off the back iron. And it's chased down in the corner, out of bounds. And uh, this is the corner that I have a hard time seeing from this vantage point. But they're going to keep it with uh, Fairbanks. Willie Thomas the third will check back in. The Tacoma native transferred from Skagit Valley College up north a bit as uh, he will come in to get Muhammad. And this one tipped but right to Sparling. Here is Huerta, a three from the left wing off the mark. Paulson initially pulled down the rebound and ran right into Shadid Shabazz who takes it away. Here's Huerta. Gets it to Thomas. Thomas driving and kicking out to Barnard. And now they get it to Shabazz with three on the shot clock. Shabazz, an athletic-looking move there. The circus shot couldn't get it to go. He's going to be at the free throw line, though. As we get to a timeout on the floor with 15.39 remaining in the ballgame. Good one here tonight from Seattle Pacific University. 41-37 Falcons as Harry Cavill just picked up his second foul on that last play. We'll be right back, though, on the SVU webcast. Back inside Royal Brougham Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. 41-37, Falcons lead by four. It's been a tight ball game throughout as the largest lead of the ball game was six by the Nanooks in the first half. And uh, coming out of the timeout, Shadid Shabazz will head to the free throw line where uh, he spends a lot of time. Shabazz on the season coming into this game has gotten to the line 73 times. 
Compare that to Devontae Moffitt for SBU. He's been to the line 105 times, but the Falcons have played 18 games, and uh, the Nanooks have, j have, have uh, played just 12, so uh, really pretty comparable numbers. Maybe uh, more free throws per game for Shabazz. He knocks down two here, and it is 41-39. Shadid Shabazz has 23 points. He came to play tonight in front of his home crowd a lot of people that he has played in front of in this city as uh, that one is off the mark and Shabazz with the uh, the ball getting it to Huerta Barnard will hand off to Shabazz uses the screen from Thomas and now tried to get it back to Thomas. Paulson got a hand in there, and Blackman comes away with it. Paulson back to Blackman. And it's going to be a an and one for Zach Paulson as he gets the shot to go, and he'll head to the free throw line. Paulson with 15 as uh, this really has not been quite the uh, Shabazz versus Moffitt show. He's, Moffitt's, got, uh, Moffitt's got 10 to this point, but uh, Paulson has been the leading scorer now and, and actually overtaking Shaw Anderson. Uh, and Paulson's free throw is good. He's got 16 for the ball game. Anderson with 13 and Moffitt with 10. And, of course, Moffitt always a threat to, uh, to go off at any point. Five-point ball game. Falcons with the lead, 44-39. And Shabazz will get it to Barnard. Here is Sparling, a good look at a three, and it's off the mark. Rebound to Sharif Khan. 14.30 to go. Khan across midcourt. Blackman in the post to Kelton Samore, and he has to kick it back out. Guarded in there by Willie Thomas the third, and Thomas, good defense on Samore. Samore gets it back now, tries to take Thomas down low again, Gets it up over him, but couldn't get the shot to go. And Thomas playing good defense there, but Blackman is there for the putback. And the Falcons have a seven-point lead, the largest of the game for either side. As uh, it is now 46-39. Falcons opening up a little bit of a lead as that one poked away momentarily from Thomas, but he gets it right back. Shabazz. On the left wing, puts up the three, and that one's off the mark. No good, but the rebound down to Sparling. Coleman Sparling now being guarded by Khan. Shabazz steps inside, puts it up over Anderson. Couldn't get that to go. Sparling taps it out to Barnard. Barnard a three from the top of the key. That one's off the mark. Chase down in the corner, and it's SPU ball. Again, that corner... A little bit out of view of uh, my vantage point. But uh, the Falcons take it. And they have a seven-point lead here with a lot of time to go in the ballgame, over 13 minutes left. And uh, just because the seven-point lead is the largest of the game does not mean it's a large lead at all. Some more. Backs in again, this time on Sparling. Blackman. Over to Sharif Khan. Five on the shot clock. Anderson going to turn around, put up a three over Thomas, and Anderson knocks it down, and the Falcons lead by 10, 49-39. Shaw Anderson with 16. And a timeout called by Greg Sparling of the Fairbanks Nanooks. 12.41 to go. 49-39. SPU has opened up a bit of a lead as uh, – we will step aside here on the SPU webcast. 12.41 to go, 10-point lead for SPU.
12.41 to go in the ballgame. Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. The Falcons have opened up a 10-point lead, but uh, certainly not a comfortable margin as uh, Shadid Shabazz, 23 points for the Nanooks. And uh, if he's able to take over some more down the stretch. He, he kind of already has taken over for most of this game. But uh, point being the Falcons do not have a comfortable lead, although it is now double digits. As here is Quinn Barnard gets it to Sparling and now Huerta in the post to Sparling puts it in as they got it over the top of Kelton some more and Sparling was right there at the rim to put it down. Not quite the uh, two-handed dunk variety, but uh, just tapped it in. Here's some more over Sparling for the lay-in. And so the two exchange buckets, and the Falcons back out to a 10-point lead. Here's Sparling thinking about a three, but he'll step back out and now get a, give it off to Barnard. Sparling with it again. And he'll hand to Shabazz. Shabazz driving on Sion Blackman, and we got a whistle and a foul. And it's going to go on Blackman. That's his third. So Devontae Moffitt with three. He'll come back in. Sion Blackman now with three. And uh, we will get to another timeout on the floor with 11.49 to go as uh, Bijan Sidhu is going to come back in for the Falcons as well. 51-41, SPU leads uh, Alaska Fairbanks, we will be back in just a moment. Back inside Royal Brougham Pavilion, Greg Sexton, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast as the Falcons lead by 10. And uh, Moffitt and uh, Sidhu on the floor now along with Paulson and uh, some more and Cavill for the Falcons. Willie Thomas out there with Shabazz, Sparling, Barnard, and... Uh, Again, not able to see who is inbounding it, but uh, now I do. It's Huerta, and he'll come back out to get it. Fairbanks looking to chop the lead back to single digits. As Barnard controlling, kicks it to Sparling. Sparling along three on the way, and the rebound comes off to Shabazz. Shabazz. Tripped over somebody and tried to pass it out, but uh, it ends up in the hands of Devontae Moffitt, who will draw the foul on Huerta. Or, uh, no, they, they called Barnard on that one. Uh, that is his second. And uh, so Harry Cavill will take it out of bounds and get it into Moffitt. Javante Jones getting up off the bench, getting ready to check in for Fairbanks. Here's some more. Puts it up and leaves it short. Tried to get it up over Sparling. And Paulson tumbles to the floor. No whistle there. And really probably a pretty good non-call as this is Huerta off the rim. No good. Rebound to some more. As Paulson... Went to the floor, did not really take a direct shot. But uh, 
They did not uh, see fit to call it either way there. Moffitt with it with 10 on the shot clock. He kicks it in the corner to Cavill. Thomas comes out to get him. Four on the shot clock. Cavill over Thomas and a little long on that one. No good rebound to Shabazz. Sprints across midcourt. And it's going to stay here with Fairbanks as Thomas was able to save it inbounds off of Paulson. And so Fairbanks will keep it with 10-18 to go in the ballgame. Nanooks trail by 10. Jones in for Barnard. Here comes Shaw Anderson for some more. And now uh, Sharif Khan back up off the bench for Zach Paulson. And it's going to be Nanooks basketball. Here's Huerta. And Khan rips that one away, but it goes right to Willie Thomas. Here is Sparling. Back to Thomas again. Thomas cuts it between a couple of defenders, puts it up and in, and I think he got Cavill in the mouth with the off elbow as he uh, Thomas put it in with the right hand, got Cavill in the face with the left elbow. And uh, so they will actually take a look at this one. Really any contact to the head or neck area, they're going to review it. But uh, don't think that Willie Thomas is going to get called for anything there. As uh, that was just an inadvertent elbow. They could say that he uh, was trying to create some space for himself, but uh, we'll we'll see. Um, I'm not privy to the replay. But the officials are taking a look at it. 10.02 to go. And uh, Thomas with the bucket there, getting Fairbanks back to within eight at 51-43. And Willie Thomas now four points in the ballgame. As a uh, fairly quick review there, and nothing comes out of it. as uh, SPU will have the ball. Ten oh two to go, eight-point ball game. Falcons with the lead. As Anderson inbounds to Sharif Khan. Khan into the left corner in front of the Falcons bench. Gets it into Anderson in the post. He gets it to Sadu, but Sadu has stepped. Uh, Sadu was stepping on the out of bounds line, just a little bit further outside the arc than he thought he was. As uh, that'll happen, he's missed a few games. He did. He did play a few minutes at Simon Fraser the other night on Saturday. And uh, Nan the Nanox with it. Huerta up over a couple of Falcon defenders. Couldn't get it to go as he had to arc that one up a bit higher than he wanted. And Kelton some more with the rebound for the Falcons. Here's Moffitt in the corner. Khan to Sadu. This time he gets a clean look at a three and knocks it down. Bijan Sadu with his first three of the ball game for the Falcons. Did an interview with him on YouTube this week. Of course, they. this is Shabazz, another bucket, getting him to 25 points. They uh, they will do an interview with, S, with an SPU player, typically uh, when they're getting ready to start a series of home games. Uh, of course, you know, uh, sometimes after the games as well, particularly if it's a win. Here's some more for a three from the corner, no good. And the rebound down to Javante Jones. Thomas ahead of the pack lays it up and in. The assist from Shabazz. And the Nanooks back within seven now, 54-47. Bit of a lob there 
from Shabazz to Thomas. And uh, Thomas didn't throw it down, but he was uh, right at the rim. And now he comes down with a rebound on the miss there. Here's Jones ahead of the pack, and Moffitt poked it away. Jones gets it back and puts it in, and we'll head to the free throw line. Javante Jones with his first couple of points in the ball game. We get to another timeout on the floor. The Nanooks are within five. The foul on Sharif Khan, that's his first. And Javante Jones will be at the free throw line when we come back. 7.59 to go. Nanooks making a little bit of a run to get back in it. We will be right back. 54-49 SPU. Back inside Royal Brome Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. 54-49, Falcons lead by five as uh, Javante Jones at the free throw line trying to make it a four-point ball game. And still a lot of time left in this one. Almost eight minutes, 7.59 to be exact. As uh, Jones at the free throw line. for Fairbanks, and he puts in the free throw. So Jones, the three-point play, sandwiched by a timeout, or I should say the, uh, the the bucket, and then the timeout, and then the free throw. Here's Anderson getting it to Cavill. Cavill tried to go up over Sparling, and Sparling, a little contact there, and Cavill came up short on the shot. This is... Uh, Barnard stepping back, knocking in the three, and it's a one-point ball game here from Royal Brome Pavilion, 54-53. Quinn Barnard kind of having a quiet night. He averages double figures, 13.3, as uh, Moffitt had his shot blocked by Willie Thomas, and he comes down with it. Here's Shabazz the other way, spinning around Moffitt, gets it to Jones. Jones fumbles it a bit, gets it back out to Shabazz. He's going to put up a three. Over Paulson couldn't get to, couldn't get that one to go though, and Shadid Shabazz a rare miss, and Devonte Moffitt the rebound. Falcons still with a one point lead. Blackman was looking to step into a three there, but thought better of it. Now Sion Blackman's going to get plenty of time to set his feet, put up the three, and it did not go. But Zach Paulson there for the rebound, puts it up and in, and the Falcons lead by three. Zach Paulson with 18 points. Here's Barnard a three in transition, knocks it in. And it's tied at 56. And we get a whistle as well. They're going to call a foul here on uh, – let's see here. It looked like they were calling it on Sion Blackman. Now they're going to send the teams to their benches and, and uh, talk this over with 6.39 to go as uh, Quinn Barnard back-to-back -back threes for the Nanooks as the, the Falcons scored in between those threes. But uh, Barnard threes on back-to-back -back trips, I should say. And kind of a quiet night for him until those threes as uh, – They may uh, – they're, they're reviewing something here. 
It did look like they gave him a three, and he should have eight points, but it's uh, they, don't, they don't have that on the scoreboard yet. On the live stats, they, uh, they do have Barnard for eight points. Shabazz with 25, and uh, Coleman Sparling with nine. And now Barnard with eight, assuming they don't take it off the board, but uh, I don't think that that is really what is being reviewed. As it stands now, it is 56 apiece. And the officials taking a look at something on the monitor. Nanooks were down 10 not that long ago. And uh, the three officials will get it together out at center court now and talk this over. Looks like they gave a uh, three to Barnard and then were in the process of calling a foul. And then they decided to review it further. I think they were reviewing whether it was a flagrant or not. They, they do say that it's a common foul. But... Uh, Fairbanks with three from Barnard, and they now keep it as uh, Sean Blackman commits his fourth foul. He's on the bench. Moffitt on the floor with three. Nobody else on the Falcons with more than two at the moment. N nobody on the floor, I should say. As uh, Fairbanks with a chance to take the lead here. Here's Barnard in the corner for Shabazz, and he puts in the three, not quite the corner, but the right wing. And Shadid Shabazz has the, the Nanooks in front by three now, 59-56, as he's got 28 points for the ball game. Shadid Shabazz having a game here at SPU in his senior year. This is Zach Paulson, a three from the corner, and that one rims out. Rebound to Sparling. Coleman Sparling. We'll get it to Shabazz. Six minutes to play here. Nanooks by three. Shabazz will hand off to Barnard. Being guarded by Kahn. Now Willie Thomas will come to the right wing to get it. Sparling swings it over to Shabazz. Shabazz being guarded by Moffitt, and now Cavill will switch on to him. Shabazz steps back, puts it up, and couldn't get it to go, but... Oh, they called a shot clock violation as uh, the Nanooks unable to draw iron there. And so the Falcons will take it back. I was afraid that maybe they were calling a late foul on Cavill there, but uh, it's a shot clock violation. Cavill will check out now as uh, – the Falcons now with Moffitt, Anderson, uh, Paulson, Kahn, and some more on the floor. And foul being called here on Coleman Sparling. That is his first. 5.23 to go. Still a lot of time left in this game. Here is Shaw Anderson going to trigger a quick three, and that one off the mark. was uh, halfway down, but it pinballed right back out. Shabazz gets it to Javante Jones, and now Sparling with it. Hands off to Barnard. Being guarded by multiple SPU defenders. Here's a shot up from the corner, no good, but Thomas comes down with the offensive rebound. Thomas, I, I think he was trying to go to Shabazz, but uh, Barnard came to get that one, and now it's going to go out of bounds to SPU with 4.41 to play. And the Falcons trailing by three, 
Devontae Moffitt across midcourt, being guarded by Shabazz, who has 28 points in the ballgame. Moffitt gets it to Khan, and now some more in the corner in front of the SPU bench. Moffitt had his pocket picked there by Shabazz, but they say he was the last to touch it. He's thinking that uh, he knocked it off of Moffitt, but they uh, didn't call it that way. Paulson will inbound. Eight on the shot clock for the Falcons. And Paulson gets it to Moffitt, who goes between a couple of defenders, and Sparling comes over and blocks the shot. Falcons will keep it. No foul called there. Three on the shot clock, and Moffitt. He's going to inbound, but Grant Leap is going to take a timeout before the uh, this next uh, play here. 4.14 to go. Three on the shot clock for the Falcons when they inbound it, and we'll keep it here, or will we? Uh, thought initially it was going to be a 30-second timeout, but now some of the players sitting down, and so we'll step aside here, full timeout with 4.14 to go here in the second half. Falcons down three, and we'll be right back in just a moment. Back inside Royal Brown Pavilion, Greg Sexton with you on the SPU webcast. Nanook's on a 16-2 run as uh, the Falcons led by 11, 54-43. Not that long ago, but uh, the Nanooks have scored 16 out of the last 18 points in the ballgame. And the Falcons now trying to get something going. They have three on the shot clock. And so they'll need to inbound and get something up quickly as Shabazz... Saves it inbounds to Thomas. Shabazz came away with the steal. Here's Barnard pulling up for a three in transition. No good. And the rebound fought for. And a held ball called. Some more was trying to pull it out of there, but there were a couple of Nanooks trying to get it away from him. So I'm Blackman will come back in with four fouls with 4.06 to go. And... Fairbanks going to inbound. Thomas going around Anderson. Steps back and misses off the back rim. And it's going SPU's way here. They're going to call a foul on, on Javante Jones. And uh, so that's kind of a bailout there as uh, the Nanooks were looking to put up another shot. But uh, goes the other way. Falcons still down three. Blackman with it now. Gets it to Paulson, and now Moffitt. Here's Anderson. Going around Thomas and lost it right to Sparling. Coleman Sparling coming the other way. Steps to his left. Couldn't get the shot to go. Anderson taps it out, and Barnard chases it down. Nanooks keep it. Here's Shabazz. Steps back over Moffitt. A three. Good. Shadid Shabazz, 31 points in the ballgame, and the Nanooks lead by six, 62-56. And the Falcons going to need to get the momentum turned here. It's all on the side of Alaska Fairbanks at the moment. Here is Anderson. Go to the bucket, reversed it, and couldn't get it to go, but he is going to be at the free throw line. Seventh team foul on the Nanooks, and that one going on Willie Thomas the third. And Shaw Anderson will head to the free throw line for two shots. 
If it's a non-shooting foul, the Falcons would be looking at a one and one here, but that was a shooting foul, and Anderson knocks in the first. And he's got 17 points in the ball game, looking for another one here, and gets it to go. Anderson, a couple of free throws. He's second on the team in scoring at 14 points per ball game. And a 90% free throw shooter coming into this one. Shaw Anderson on the season. As uh, Nanooks with it in the front court with under three minutes to go in the game now. Leading by four. Here's Barnard handing off to Thomas. Thomas over in the corner to Barnard. And he has it ripped away by Anderson. It's going to be a held ball, and it's going to go to, to SPU. As they take it back on the alternating possession, 2.36 to go now. Every possession getting more and more critical as we get into the final stretch of the ballgame. Here's Devontae Moffitt across midcourt being guarded by Shabazz. Now... Anderson will swing it over to Blackman. Gets it to Cavill. Cavill goes baseline and is blocked. And Sparling thought he had a clean block, but they call him for a foul with 2.19 to go. Sparling incredulous at the call there. Harry Cavill will head to the free throw line. 2.19 to go. Cavill just two points in the ball game. Uncharacteristic for him, but uh, he somehow seems to find his way to the free throw line late in ball games, and uh, he puts in the first free throw. Cavill, a 79% free throw shooter, and the Falcons really an excellent free throw shooting team overall as Cavill goes two for two from the stripe. And Cavill now with four points as Willie Thomas the third walks it across midcourt. Gets it to Coleman Sparling. And Sparling now finding Barnard. They swing it around the perimeter. Here's Shabazz. Stepping back over Blackman. And that one is short, but Javante Jones there for the rebound and the put back. And the Nanooks with a four-point lead again, 64-60. Big bucket there for, for Jones. Here's Moffitt getting to the bucket. Gets it to go, and they're going to call a foul on Jones. They give Moffitt the bucket. And uh, apparently they called a foul after the bucket, but they're giving Fairbanks the ball. Or maybe it was simultaneous to the bucket, as uh, that that would make a little more sense, as the foul was away from the ball. So that the foul goes on Javante Jones. Here's Willie Thomas kicking it in the corner to Jones, and now Barnard with it. A minute twenty to go, two point ball game. Fans are into it. Shabazz gets it to Thomas. Here's Barnard, a deep three from the right wing. That one's off the front rim. Cavill tried to pull it down. They're going to give the ball to the Falcons. They're going to review it, actually. They're going to take a look as uh, Cavill is still getting up and uh, is able to get to his feet now as he took a hard fall there. So they're going to take a look at this and see uh, who actually touched it last as uh, they gave it to SPU initially. But uh, they'll, they'll take a look with a minute eight to go as this is a critical call in this game. SPU, if they get it back, will have a chance to tie or take the lead. But uh, the Nanooks... If it goes over to them, they will uh, have a chance to uh, take a two-possession lead again. A minute eight, really, an eternity in a uh, a close ball game like this. As the officials will get together. 
and make a call. Falcons women just came out of their locker room. As they will, uh, they're going to review this some more here. SPU women coming up next against Alaska Fairbanks on the women's side. And uh, the Nanooks, the women uh, as well, out of their locker room. And see if they, uh, they're going to stick with the initial call and give it to SPU. So a minute eight to go. And the Falcons will have possession. They'll have a chance to tie or take the lead. And Cavill will get it into Devontae Moffitt. Shabazz will pick him up. Moffitt will get it to Paulson. Paulson's had a good ball game for the Falcons tonight. Here's Moffitt getting to the bucket. Steps back, puts it up and in. Ties the game at 64 and... Got it over Willie Thomas. Devontae Moffitt with 14 points in the ballgame now, and it's the Nanooks possession as uh, Barnard will get it across midcourt, making sure to beat that 10-second uh, count. But uh, the Nanooks kind of going to use a little bit of time here, trying to shorten the game, although they uh, were tied now, the the – Call is on Sion Blackman. That is his fifth foul. He's fouled out of the ballgame for the Falcons. So uh, Sion Blackman will give way to Sharif Khan. And we will get a timeout with 30.6 left on the clock. Nanooks with possession and a 30-second timeout. As... Uh, Sion Blackman fouling out for the Falcons and uh, played 16 minutes in this one and scored just two points. As uh, for the Falcons right now, Shaw Anderson and Zach Paulson, 18 apiece, and Devontae Moffitt with 14. Nobody else with more than four. And... Uh, Uh, Medi Marty has been in his jersey and shorts all night, but has not gotten into the game. So he, he there, you would think that there must be something uh, going on there where uh, Grant Leap wants to hold him back for this one. Timeout over, and the Nanooks bring it in bounds. 64-64. Barnard will get it to Javante Jones, who'll feed it to Thomas. Now back out to Barnard. Five on the shot clock, Shabazz with it in his hands. And Shabazz lost it. Cavill comes away with it. Ten on the, ten on the game clock. And the Falcons will walk it across midcourt and try to get a last-second shot again. Moffitt going to get all the way to the bucket. Couldn't get it to go. It's off the back iron. We're going to overtime here from Royal Brown Pavilion. As Moffitt had an opening there for a second, had to arc it up pretty high, got it off the back iron, and we are headed to overtime. The women are going to have to wait a little longer before they get to take the court. We are tied at 64, and we have five more minutes of basketball coming up in just a moment. We'll take a break here from SPU. 64-64. As the officials reviewing something, but... Uh, we are, we are going to be going to overtime, I believe. We will take a break, and if anything changes, we'll come right back.
Back to Royal Brougham Pavilion. Greg Sexton with you on the SVU webcast. We head to overtime as uh, the Falcons getting ready to play their fourth overtime game of the season. They are 2-1 and one in the extra session. And uh, take a look at Fairbanks. I know they, they had an overtime win uh, against Central Washington at home. 97-95 was the final in that one. And... Uh, they also won earlier on in November against Cal State East Bay in overtime. Uh, so they're 2-0 and in overtime. This will be Harry Cavill and Willie Thomas III jumping it up. And Thomas is able to control it, get it into the backcourt. And the Nanooks will start the overtime with possession. Shadid Shabazz, 31 points in regulation. Looking for some more here in OT. Barnard will get it to Shabazz. Shabazz will step back, get, to, get it to Thomas. And now Thomas will send it back out to Barnard. Shot clock running down. It's out of bounds, off the hands of Coleman Sparling. And the Falcons will take it back with 4.30 on the clock here in the overtime period. So, yeah, F Fairbanks 4-8 and eight overall, but 2-0 and oh in overtime. And the Falcons 2-1 and one in overtime games. A couple of wins here at home. As this is Shaw Anderson and Willie Thomas coming over, blocking the shot. A little bit of contact, but no foul. And here come the Nanooks the other way. Here's Shabazz pulling up in transition, puts it in from about 15 feet out. And Shadid Shabazz with 33 in the ballgame. Moffitt into the front court for the Falcons. He gets it to Paulson. And now back out to Moffitt on top. 10 on the shot clock. Here's Paulson, a three from the left wing. And that one is off the mark. Rebound to Coleman Sparling. And the Nanooks with a two-point lead and possession, 3.30 to go here in the overtime. This has been a back-and-forth game. And uh, the Nanooks with the slim lead here in the overtime period. Javante Jones dribbling into the traffic, is able to maintain control and gets it back outside. And Shabazz going to trigger a long three. That's off the back iron. No good rebound to Harry Cavill. The shot clock was running down there. Shabazz launched it from deep. Couldn't get it to go. Here's Moffitt being guarded by Shabazz. And he will step through a couple of defenders, put up the floater, and that one rattles home for Devontae Moffitt, who has 16 in the, in the ball game now for the Falcons. And we're tied at 66. As the clock ticks down to 2.30 to go in the overtime period. Jones to Thomas. Thomas will get it back out to Sparling on top. Sparling will use a Thomas screen and dribble to his right. Trying to go around. Kahn steps back. Turnaround jumper is off the mark. And the rebound to Zach Paulson. Falcons with it the other way. Just over two minutes to play here in overtime. And just a bucket apiece for these teams so far in the first three minutes of overtime. Thomas comes over to block the shot, but uh, it'll be out of bounds. And the Falcons will keep it with a minute 59 to go. Moffitt will inbound. And now SP is going to take a timeout. A minute 59 to go here in the overtime period. Falcons getting ready to inbound to try to take the lead. 14 on the shot clock. And uh, we will keep it here. This will be a 30-second timeout. Devontae Moffitt with a big bucket a moment ago. 16 for him. Shadid Shabazz, 33. And uh, see if we can... Uh, Yeah, I was gonna look for his uh, what his career high is, 
but uh, don't have that readily available, so uh, I'm not going to go digging too deep for it. But uh, Shadid Shabazz having a, a spectacular game here. And he's played here a few times. As uh, Moffitt will inbound it. Gets it to Shaw Anderson, and he puts it in. And Anderson was right there for the catch and was right at the bucket to put it in. And Shaw Anderson now leading the Falcons with 20 points. 68-66. Falcons by two. Here's Shabazz. And Shabazz draws the contact and the foul. That one being called on Devontae Moffitt. That is his fourth. And so he's going to have to be careful here. Sion Blackman has already fouled out for the Falcons. And uh, Shadid Shabazz to the free throw line. It's a one and one. He knocks in the first. Shabazz coming into this one 84% from the free throw line and knocks in both here as well. And we are tied again at 68. Neither of these teams wants to give in. Really good atmosphere tonight for a Division II college basketball game. As uh, the Nanooks with a lot of local products. And this is going to be a steal by Shabazz. And he's going to take it to the bucket and lay it in with the left hand and put the Nanooks back ahead by two. Greg Sparling wants a timeout. Shabazz has 37 points in the ballgame. A minute 13 left. And Sparling wanted to uh, talk things over with his squad as uh, they are getting ready to go on defense on this next possession with a minute 13 to go. And Shadid Shabazz, all six of the Nanooks points here in overtime. And uh, he has more than half of their points in the uh, the ball game, 37 out of 70. As uh, the Falcons have kind of spread it out uh, among three scorers, those being Anderson, Paulson, and Moffitt. And uh, nobody else really doing a lot of the scoring for the Falcons. Anderson with 20 to lead the way for the Falcons, but uh, Shadid Shabazz. Nothing new for him, but uh, 37 points. Nothing to sneeze at at all. As this is Moffitt, and he's going to be fouled by Sparling with 59.8 left on the clock. And that is the third foul on Coleman Sparling. Barnard will come back in for Javante Jones. And Moffitt to the free throw line. And they need these from him. This is a one and one. First one is good. And Devontae Moffitt now 17 points in the ball game, And now make it 18 as he converts another pair of free throws. And uh, Moffitt now 6 of 6 from the line in the ball game. Greg Sparling, uh, Bubba, uh, Coleman Sparling. Um, Greg Sparling is the coach and... Bubba Sparling is somebody else that is not involved in this game. Uh, we get a foul called on Barnard, and it's going the other way. That one was out near the scorer's table, and Barnard's going to huddle his team together real quick just to tell his guys, hey, you know, <laughs> stay, stay calm. But the Falcons get it back with 50.2 left. And I was going to say Coleman Sparling just picked up his third. So, um, or no, I, what I was going to say is he was shaking out his left arm there uh, before the, the inbounds pass. As um, the Falcons take it back with 50.2 left. 
on the foul on Barnard. That is his third. And uh, I, I, uh, it looked like they may have just called him for uh, for setting a, a screen well away from the uh, the bucket. But a big call here as SPU gets it back with 50.2 left on the clock in a tie ball game in overtime, 70 apiece. As uh, women scheduled to play at 7.30. That will get going a, a little later. As uh, this game has to finish up first. And would not be a stretch here uh, to imagine this one going to double overtime. But both teams trying to settle it here. In the final minute of the first overtime, Anderson almost had his pocket picked by Shabazz. Anderson kicks it out to Cavill. Cavill is tripped up and fouled by Thomas. No. Yes, they are calling that on Willie Thomas the third. That is his second. 35.5 left. And Harry Cavill will go to the line for two shots as the Falcons are now in the double bonus. Not a shooting foul, but uh, does not matter anymore. As Cavill puts in the first free throw. And he'll get another one here. Falcons by a point, and Cavill trying to make it two with 35.5 left on the game clock. Shot is up and good by Harry Cavill. He's got six points in the ballgame, four of those from the free throw line. And the Nanooks will move it into the front court, and they will not take a timeout. Here's Shabazz getting to the bucket. Couldn't get the shot to go, and the Falcons pull down the rebound. Here's Paulson. He is double teamed, and the Nanooks get the steal, and they put it in. And now they're going to take a timeout as Paulson was trying to draw the foul and the Nanooks were able to get the steal without committing the foul. They get it back. They put it in. 14.3 left on the clock. And this ball game has been wild tonight from Seattle Pacific University. 72-72 as they help Zach Paulson to his feet. And uh, he thought for sure he was going to get a foul drawn there. And the Nanooks aggressive on defense, but uh, do not foul. F the officials potentially could have called something there. They, they actually may be reviewing this last play because Paulson was slow in getting up. Uh, they may be taking a look just to make sure he didn't take any contact to the head. He may have. But uh, we are tied at 72 apiece. Falcons will have possession when we resume play. I've been observing Medi El Marty with the jersey and the shorts, but he's got the jersey untucked, so uh, he's just he's he's just warm. doesn't doesn't want to put on uh, any more. Fourteen point six, and we are going to resume. They actually, I, what they were reviewing there was. Uh, how much time to put on the clock as uh, it was originally 14.3. They put three more tenths back on. And Devontae Moffitt will walk it across midcourt. He had an opportunity to win it in regulation. He's going to have an opportunity to win it here. He puts it in, draws the foul, and will head to the free throw line with 1.6 left on the clock. 74-72 Falcons. Devontae Moffitt with 20 points in the ballgame. And looking for 21, Willie Thomas the third commits his third foul. 74-72, Moffitt 
with the potential game winner there. The Nanooks are going to get it back with a short amount of time, and maybe they're going to review this and see how much time to uh, to put on the clock. Willie Thomas not liking the uh, foul call there, but uh, Devontae Moffitt did draw the contact there, gets the bucket, and will head to the free throw line momentarily as uh, both teams going to talk things over here while the officials are reviewing the last play. And I think what they are reviewing is just how much time is left on the clock. And uh, they're going to put a couple more tenths back up there, make it 1.8. But 1.8 still... Not a whole lot of time for the Nanooks to do anything, regardless of how this free throw comes out here. If Moffitt is able to make it, then, uh, you know, the Nanooks will get an inbounds pass. If he misses, then, you know, they're going to have to rebound it and fling one up or get a very – they don't even have any timeouts left, so they, they're not going to call a timeout. Moffitt – at the stripe, off the front rim, and Sparling will get it to Barnard. He does not get it off in time. And the Falcons with the overtime victory as Moffitt untucks the jersey and walks off the floor as SPU wins it 74-72 in overtime. Devontae Moffitt with under two seconds to go gets the bucket off the glass. And the Falcons win it by two, 74-72. What a ball game this was. Back and forth. Both teams had the lead for a good stretch of the game. And the Falcons prevail in overtime by a count of 74-72. Shadid Shabazz, 39 points. But the Nanooks come up short. As uh, quickly here as we're going to get to the women's game before too long. Uh, but the Falcons end up shooting 43% from the floor. The uh, Nanooks shoot 46%. And um, Falcons get to the free throw line 14 times. They made 13 of them. And the Nanooks were perfect at the free throw line. Falcons 13 of 14. Uh, Nanooks 8 of 8 at the line. And they and they end up out-rebounding the Falcons 37-33 in the ballgame. Just quickly, some of the individual stats, and we will uh, get to a uh, – we'll sign off on this one and let them uh, switch over to the women's game. But Shadid Shabazz, the game of his life, 39 points, 7 of 7 at the line, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 39 points, if I didn't mention that already. Nobody else in double figures for the Nanooks, though. Uh, Coleman Sparling with nine and Quinn Barnard with eight. And uh, really, they just needed, you know, somebody else uh, to to kind of pick up some of the scoring load. That did not happen. SPU ends up with three players with at least 18 as Devontae Moffitt finishes with 20 on uh, – 7 of 16 shooting, 6 of 7 at the free throw line. He may have tried to miss that la that last free throw. He he had uh, two rebounds, three assists, and Zach Paulson, 18 points, nine rebounds, leading the Falcons in rebounding. He had a great ball game. So did Shaw Anderson, who uh, scores 25 rebounds and two assists for Anderson. Harry Cavill, six points and five rebounds with a couple of assists and Cavill with uh, four big free throws down the stretch to help the Falcons to this win. They go to now four and four in the GNAC, 11 and eight overall. They will host Anchorage here on Saturday. The Nanooks have played a lot of good ball games this year, but they have a four and nine record overall, just one and six in the GNAC. And uh, they drop one in overtime for the first time this year. That's going to do it for the men's broadcast. Stay tuned. We'll uh, have the women coming up shortly as uh, 
We'll step aside for, for a little bit here. The women will be coming up in about 30 minutes. Won't start at 7.30, but uh, a little bit later. And uh, stay tuned or tune back in for that one, I should say. Uh, the men win it in overtime, 74-72. And uh, a, an excellent ball game. Falcons win it in overtime by two.